GPT 4.0 is amazing for data analysis. Now, when you work with a dataset, ChatGPT creates an interactive table that you can expand, so you can follow along as it updates during your analysis. Now, you can also create pivot tables, interactive visualizations, and more. So, let's explore all the new improvements to data analysis with GPT 4.0. All right, to explore all the improvements to data analysis that we have in GPT 4.0, we're going to work with the dataset. And the dataset that we're going to use is this world population dataset that I have here. And this dataset has the population of all the countries around the world in four years. And we're going to do some quick analysis to explore the new features in GPT 4.0. And by the way, I got this dataset from Bright Data, which is also the sponsor of this video. And I'm going to leave the link on the description so you can download this free dataset from Bright Data. And once you go to that link, you only have to click here on free datasets. And as you can see here, there are different datasets, Wikipedia, ESPN, Goodreads, IMDB, and the one we're using right now is World Population review.com this is the data set and you only have to click on here view data set and then you can download this data set for free so as you can see bright data not only offers different scraping solutions as we've seen in previous videos but also web data solutions and one of them is the data set marketplace that has dozens of data sets with reliable and accurate data from public websites here you can find e-commerce data from websites such as amazon best buy and also financial data real estate data social media data from facebook instagram and other social media sites and more data sets. And again, I'm going to leave in the description of this video the link to download this free data set so you can explore the new features of ChatGPT for data analysis with me. All right, here I am again on ChatGPT and here I uploaded this world population data set and you can also, by the way, connect to Google Drive and to Microsoft OneDrive in case you have this data set in one of these two services. And that's one of the new features that we can find in this new ChatGPT. Something cool that was added to ChatGPT is that now we can just simply upload this CSV file and then press enter. And from this, we get this table, this spreadsheet inside of ChatGPT. And now we can expand this table and see all our data. And also we can make modifications to this table. We only have to select some columns. As you can see here, I select the country column. And as you can see in the chat, there is country column selected and we can make modifications using that column. We can also do that with multiple columns. If I select two columns and we can also do that with rows. If here I select the row number one, you can see here number one row. And this is very cool because you can modify this table by chatting with ChatGPT. And all the modifications are going to be instantly and you will be able to see the new tables here on the left. And on the right, you can continue the chat to make more modifications or to generate visualizations. And this is what we're going to do right now. Here in this data set, we can see that there is a column named country with the different countries uh, in this data set. And also we have here another column with a population by year, which is the last column. So here, if we double click on one cell, we can see that we have the population in four different years for the same country. For example, this country is Belarus and we have the population in 1980, 2000, 2010 and 2023. So here, something that I will do is split this column into four columns. So we have the column 1980 with a population of that year, then 2000, 2010, and finally 2023. And we'll have four columns. And I will do this because I want to make an, a visualization and I'm going to use these four columns for this visualization. So here to work with this specific column, population by year, what I'm going to do is select the column. And then as you can see here, there is the column in the chat, the population by year column. And now we can work with that column. So here what I'm going to tell ChatGPT is this. This column contains a population for different years. I split this column into different columns. So here I press enter. And now, uh, right now, the name of this data set is world population and also the name of this table. But you're going to see that after ChatGPT finishes the analysis, the name of the table is going to change. And also, we're going to get four columns as we ask ChatGPT. All right, so you can see now the name of the of the table is expanded world population data is a new name for this table. And now if we go to the right, we can see that we have four new columns, population 1980, population 2000, 2010 and 2023. Now, it's not necessary to select a column or select a row to modify this table. For example, here I can just simply type the following round the numbers in the columns. 
So here, as you can see, we have these numbers with the point and then the number zero. So here, if I type random numbers, we're going to get rid of this that zero. And here, as you can see, we got rid of them and I didn't select any specific column. All right. Now, another new cool feature that we're going to explore is data visualization. And here there are some changes because now we can customize the visualizations that we get. And also these visualizations are not static, but are interactive. So now let's make a visualization. And to do this, I'm going to select one of these countries. For example, here, I'm going to select Argentina which is row number seven. And here I'm going to ask ChatGPT to visualize the population growth between 1980 and 2023 for this country, for Argentina. And this is possible because we have these four columns with the population in these four years. So here I'm going to press enter and we're going to see that visualization that we get. All right. After making some attempts to generate the interactive visualization, I got some errors. I could only get a static visualization, but when I switched to the interactive chart, the interactive visualization, I didn't get anything. But here I opened a previous chat that I had before making this video. And here you can see that it's possible to make this interactive visualization with ChatGPT. Here I selected two countries. Argentina is the line in orange, while the other country, Afghanistan, is the country in yellow. And if we hover on the lines, we can see the population for each year. And as I mentioned before, you can also customize the color of the line plot. Here you can choose this blue for Argentina and, for example, this uh, pink or red for Afghanistan. And that's how we can easily change the colors. Also, you can switch from interactive to static chart by clicking on this button. And you can also download the chart that we have here. And in case you want to, again, go to the table and continue making some changes, you can just scroll up and look for the latest table that you generated. So in this case, this table is this one, rounded world population data. And here I can continue making changes based on the columns that I have here. And here you can do as many things as you will do in Excel, such as generating pivot tables, grouping values inside the column and more. The only issue is that ChatGPT has limitations to the file size that you can upload to ChatGPT. Right now, the limit is 512 megabytes for a dataset that you can upload to ChatGPT. So you won't be able to upload large datasets to ChatGPT. That said, let me know in the comment section whether you think this new version of ChatGPT is a good replacement to doing data analysis with Excel. And I'll see you on the next video.